by looking at uh, some polygons. A polygon is a shape with straight sides. Now we're going to look at two particular types of polygons. Here we have a pentagon which has five sides and a hexagon which has six sides. Let's just start with a pentagon. Hopefully you would understand and know that a pentagon has um, now we're going to look at polygons. A polygon is a shape with straight sides. We're going to look at two, in, two polygons in particular. This one here is a pentagon, so it has five sides. And over here we have a hexagon which has six sides. Now we're going to concentrate mainly on the angle properties of the pentagon. And we're going to look at the internal angles or the sum of the internal angles. You may already know that the internal angles add up to 540 degrees. But as teachers, that's quite a lot to expect. And so we have got this very simple little method to help you remember what they add up to. We would expect you to remember that a triangle has internal angles that add up to 180. So we're going to split this shape up into triangles. Starting with one corner, we're going to draw a line to every other corner. So that's one line, two lines. Over here we have the last one we'll draw in. And obviously that one already finishes there as well. So now we have three triangles. If one triangle is 180 degrees, then three triangles equals 540 degrees. Now this particular polygon is a special polygon because all the lines around the outside are the same size, which means it's a regular polygon. Because it's regular, it also has all the internal angles are the same size as well. And you may be expected to calculate what one of these angles is. In this case, X. Because we have five equal angles, that means that 5 lots of x is going to add up to 540. So to find x, we need to divide 540 by how many angles there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This equals 180 degrees. We may also be asked to find the external angle. Now the external angle when you extend the line out from the shape and are asked to find this. To make this less confusing, I'm going to rub out these lines. So we know this angle here is 108 because they all angulate inside. And now we just have a straight line with 108 on one side so 180 for a straight line, take away 108, leaves us with 72. 72 degrees. And that's the external angle. We'll run through this again with the hexagon. Exactly the same idea. First of all, you may already know that the angles in the hexagon add up to 720 degrees. But we're going to use the same method as before to work out that number. Starting with any corner, let's start here. That line's drawn. Drawing this line. That corner's done. As you can see, we've split the hexagon up into one, two, three, four triangles. So four triangles, or four lots of 180. 720 degrees. So that's the sum of all the internal angles. If we're looking for one of the internal angles, we need to do our 720 divided by how many angles there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which is 120. If we were then to continue, and work out what the external angle is. Again, we draw our little line in. 
show the external angle, Let's rub the rest of these lines out to avoid any confusion. So we know this angle here is 120 degrees. So the angle here, which may be labelled Y, would be 180, take away 120, which is 60.